Corpus linguistics is the study of language as expressed in corpora or of real-world text. The text corpus method is a digestive approach for deriving a set of abstract rules from a text for governing a natural language, and how that language relates to and with another language originally derived manually. Corpora now are automatically derived from the source texts. Corpus linguistics proposes that reliable language analysis is more feasible with corpora collected in the field, in the natural contexts, and with minimal experimental interference. The field of corpus linguistics features divergent views about the value of corpus annotation, ranging from John Mahardy Sinclair, who advocates minimal annotation, and so allow texts to speak for themselves, to the survey of English usage team who advocate annotation as allowing greater linguistic understanding, by way of rigorous recording. History Some of the earliest efforts at grammatical description were based at least in part on corpora of particular religious or cultural significance. For example, Pratisakya literature described the sound patterns of Sanskrit as found in the Vedas, and Panini's grammar of classical Sanskrit was based at least in part on analysis of that same corpus. Similarly, the early Arabic grammarians paid particular attention to the language of the Quran. In the Western European tradition, scholars prepared concordances to allow detailed study of the language of the Bible and other canonical texts. A landmark in modern corpus linguistics was the publication by Henry Cousara and W. Nelson Francis of Computational Analysis of Present-day American English in 1967, a work based on the analysis of the Brown Corpus, a carefully compiled selection of current American English totaling about a million words drawn from a wide variety of sources. Kusara and Francis subjected it to a variety of computational analyses, from which they compiled a rich and variegated opus, combining elements of linguistics, language teaching, psychology, statistics and sociology. A further key publication was Randolph Quirk's Towards a Description of English usage in which he introduced the survey of English usage. Shortly thereafter, Boston publisher Houghton Mifflin approached Kusara to supply a million words. Three-line citation base for its new American Heritage Dictionary, the first dictionary to be compiled using corpus linguistics. The AHD took the innovative step of combining prescriptive elements with descriptive information. Other publishers followed suit. The British publisher Colin Cobuild Monolingual Learner's Dictionary, designed for users learning English as a foreign language, was compiled using the Bank of English. The Survey of English Usage Corpus was used in the development of one of the most important corpus-based grammars, the Comprehensive Grammar of English. The Brown Corpus has also spawned a number of similarly structured corpora. The Lob Corpus, Conher per Wellington, Australian Corpus of English, the Frown Corpus, and the FLOB Corpus. Other corpora represent many languages, varieties, and modes, and include the International Corpus of English and the British National Corpus, a 100 million word collection of a range of spoken and written texts, created in the 1990s by a consortium of publishers, universities and the British Library for Contemporary American English work has stalled on the American National Corpus, but the 400-plus million word corpus of Contemporary American English is now available through a web interface. The first computerized corpus of transcribed spoken language was constructed in 1971 by the Montreal French Project containing one million words, which inspired Shana Poplak's much larger corpus of spoken French in the Ottawa Hull area. Besides these corpora of living languages, computerized corpora have also been made of collections of texts in ancient languages. An example is the Anderson Forbes database of the Hebrew Bible, developed since the 1970s, in which every clause is passed using graphs 
paragraphs representing up to seven levels of syntax, and every segment tagged with seven fields of information. The Quranic Arabic corpus is an annotated corpus for the classical Arabic language of the Quran. This is a recent project with multiple layers of annotation including morphological segmentation, part of speech tagging, and syntactic analysis using dependency grammar. Methods Corpus Linguistics has generated a number of research methods, attempting to trace a path from data to theory. Wallace and Nelson first introduced what they called the 3A perspective, annotation, abstraction and analysis. Annotation consists of the application of a scheme to texts. Annotations may include structural markup, part of speech tagging, parsing, and numerous other representations. Abstraction consists of the translation of terms in the scheme to terms in a theoretically motivated model or dataset. Abstraction typically includes linguist-directed search but may include e. G. Rule learning for parses. Analysis consists of statistically probing, manipulating and generalizing from the dataset. Analysis might include statistical evaluations, optimization of rule bases and knowledge discovery methods. Dot. Most lexical corpora today are part of speech tagged. However, even corpus linguists who work with unannotated plain texts inevitably apply some method to isolate salient terms. In such situations, annotation and abstraction are combined in a lexical search. The advantage of publishing an annotated corpus is that other users can then perform experiments on the corpus. Linguists with other interests and differing perspectives than the originators can exploit this work. By sharing data, corpus linguists are able to treat the corpus as a locus of linguistic debate, rather than as an exhaustive fount of knowledge.